Derek Dries with the Kemper Knights joining us here at the uh, Kemper Soccer Field after a one to nothing victory over Creston as Kemper moves to nine and one again on the season. Uh, tell you what, Derek, a great defensive effort tonight. Another shutout. Uh, what was the strength of the defense this evening? We really like to try and communicate on the backside and really just talking, making sure everyone knows everyone has a guy is really the key to what we try and do. I talked with Kirby Axman here a little bit ago. He said the defense experience back there for you guys, how much has that helped this year just in the growth from last year to this year? It's helped a ton this year, especially because we've had a bunch of shutouts this year. Last year we really struggled to kind of talk, be on the same page, know who's got who. And really, this year, it's been a huge step up. Is that what you guys learned and took from last year was just the communication part? And it sounds like you guys put a lot of time in during the off season to kind of perfect that defense a little bit. Yeah, communication is definitely key. We really struggled last year. We couldn't really talk to each other. That gave them a lot of breakaways. This year, we're trying to cut down on that and really just know who we have. Let's talk a little bit about Creston here tonight. What did you see from them offensively? What did you think their strategy was on the offensive end, and how did you guys look to defend it? They were really trying to send it in over the top, right down the middle, and try and beat us one-on-one. -on -one. So we really made sure right in the middle we knew who we had, knew who was coming across, and that really shut it down. You mentioned a lot of shutouts this season. Now, where's this one rank in those group of shutouts? It's definitely up there. We've played a lot of tough teams this year, and this is really one of the better teams that we've played. So this shutout is really one of the best feeling. What did you think was the strength defensively tonight for your game personally? Personally, just playing with the team, making sure, talking to the team, making sure everyone knew where they were going with the ball. And you told me here before you took a few shots in the back tonight. Uh, what's it like, you know, as you're trying to get down the, you know, the field and get in position, and all of a sudden you get nailed like that? Well, definitely hurts. It's a stinging pain, but really just to get in the way and stop their offense is really what we're trying to do. Talk about getting that ball up front, getting it to the guys on the offensive end and letting them do their work. What was the plan tonight? Did you feel like you guys were able to get it into position for them? Yeah, we really like to try and step up and win the 50-50 balls and then just send them to the sidelines, send them to the side so all the guys up front can go and make a play. It seems like aggression and being aggressive going after the ball is kind of a key in that. Mm -hmm. We really put emphasis on that after our last loss to try and make sure we were winning those plays. What do you did, did you think that loss in a way, even though you'd love to go undefeated, kind of helped you guys maybe refocus with the playoffs coming up here in a little while? It really opened our eyes. We knew we had things to work on, and this kind of showed what we needed to work on, and now we're going out and trying to make it happen. What were some of the things that you learned that you needed to work on? We really need to be aggressive when we're stepping the ball, make sure only one person is guarding the ball at a time, and then stepping the ball before they get open shots. Well, Derek, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations and another shout-out. Thank you.